Breaking at 7, the Kentucky Senate voting in the last half hour to approve the medical marijuana bill. The bill would allow medical marijuana to be used for at least six medical conditions, but as the main work of the session ends at midnight, keeping up with the flurry of bills passing on to the governor or the ones not quite making it is a challenge. Bodie Brooks has an update on where several bills stand. It's been a long road for several pieces of legislation now hitting the governor's desk. A bill to ban unregulated gray machines just signed into law. They're entirely unregulated. I don't believe that they were legal, yet they came into Kentucky and just set up and were taking dollars from Kentuckians and and taking them out of state. On Thursday morning, bills to ban TikTok on government devices and create new misdemeanor and felony charges for hazing, that bill known as Lofton's Law, getting their last votes and now ready for the governor's signature. You're talking about having a student sit on the wall for six hours and wall sits or having somebody come and pick you up uh, at a restaurant at four in the morning when you have a test at six in the morning. But not every big issue this year made it to the finish line. The clock has run out on several bills, including one restricting drag shows, another allowing concealed carry on college campuses, and also the Crown Act. There is no feasible way these bills could still pass within the time lawmakers have left. However, some more controversial issues are getting their final votes in time to withstand an assumed veto. After a lengthy debate, the House held a final vote overnight on Senate Bill 5, creating a defined 10-day complaint process for books and schools with controversial sexual content. Opponents have called it a book banning bill. This is not a book banning bill. This is a bill designed to give parents an opportunity to voice their concerns and to protect their children. A sweeping juvenile justice reform bill, House Bill 3, also faces a decision by the governor. After bipartisan calls for reform, some Democrats felt the bill went too far. Juvenile crime is a problem. It's a problem that needs to be solved. What you're doing now is not working. While the session is not over yet, Friday begins a 10-day veto recess. Any and all bills the GOP thinks the governor wouldn't support must be passed so they have a chance to overturn a veto later. The governor is not giving any early signals. I'm going to review anything that comes to my desk uh, before making a decision on either signing it uh, or vetoing it. Lawmakers will return on March 29th for the final two days of session. At the state capitol, Bodie Brooks, Fox 56 News.